Hello everyone and welcome to the 48th annual conference of the Industrial Electronic Society ICON 2022 conference. And this conference is organized by the IEEE, the IEEE Industrial Society, Electronic Society, the IEEE Computer Society. And today we are here to present this very interesting paper and the title of this very interesting paper is Security, Security Constraint, Security Constraint, Unique Commitment and Economic Dispatch Apply to the Modify IEEE 39 Boss System Case. And this paper is the product of the collaboration between several institutions and several people. And the authors, as you can see over here, uh, Giacchino Tricarico from Polytechnic University of Bari, of Politecnico di Bari, Maria Di Corato and Giuseppe Forte, also from Pro Politecnico di Bari in Italy, Francisco Gonzalez Longal, myself, um, from the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, but also University of Southeastern Norway and leader of DNC's lab. Raju Wagel from the Arctic University of Norway, Luisa Suara from the uh, Universidad Carlos III of Madrid, and Jose Luis Reda from the, uh, Delft uh, University of Technology. And now what I will do is I will present the short agenda. Today we have basically we have basically five sections here. We, I will start with a brief introduction about uh, economic dispatch and unique commitment. Then I will introduce the proposed method that we are uh, introducing in this paper. And this, and this method have two different stages. The first stage, as you can see over here, is a merit order criterion for Sonal Day Ahead Market that we call CDAM. And then we have a security, security constraint, unique commitment, and economic dispatch that is known as SCUDED. Finally, we will conclude with some uh, conclusions, remarks, and that will be all for this short presentation. And without further delay, let's start with a short introduction. And I believe everyone here know that one of the very important and exciting problems in power system operation is the secure and economic scheduling of the power production of the generation units inside the electrical power system. And this activity is performed over a time horizon that can be from several hours until a year. And this is typically named as unique commitment. The unique commitment, to be honest, is a very interesting mathematical and also physical problem that depending of the range, depending of the time horizon, generating units, network representation, load profile, reliability constraint, regulatory framework, and so on, there are probably thousand papers, scientific paper published in this area. To be honest, the scientific literature has many techniques that has been applied for the solution of the unit commitment. Those techniques has been improving over the time from the early ones based on the priority list and the dynamic programming to the current most used based one that is the MITS integer programming. Additional, obtaining the feasible solution of the network perspective, the security constraint unit commitment problem has been defined to embed the network constraint and the optimization problem. Well, as you can see over here, the unit commitment and the economic dispatch, they are very, very important aspect of the secure, reliable and economic operation of the electrical power system. In this paper, what we are offering, what we are proposing is basically a two stage optimization problem to develop a security constraint unit commitment with a economic dispatch optimization.
That is what we call the student. In the first stage, a zonal day ahead market optimization problem is solving and considering the internal flow bonds and aiming to minimize the generation supply. And the dispatch of the power of those generator is exploded in the second stage to solve the second stage of the problem, the secure optimization problem, where the goal in this case is to minimize the redispatching cost considering the generators and network constraint. In this case, we are using a AC load flow formulation, non-linear formulation, to evaluate, to evaluate the overall operating condition of the system. And also, we have included the network constraint in the optimization problem using linearized sensitivity factors. Finally, in this paper, we have applied the proposed methodology to one version of the IEEE 39 bus system that we call a modified version that is specifically designed for economic dispatch and unit commitment. And Finally, the simulation results are presented over a time horizon of one year. Okay, what is the proposed method? Well, the proposed method is a security constrained unit commitment with economic dispatch. And as you can see over here, we have two stages. And the first stage, the first stage, as you can see over here, is basically solving the merit order criterion for the zonal day ahead market. That is basically what we are obtaining in this one. And of course, this formulation is based in the pan-European single day ahead market. For that reason, if you are looking this video or this presentation from US, you will find some differences to the American approach. In the second stage, in the second stage, what we are doing is basically mm, mm, dispatching the power obtained from the solution of the zonal, um, zonal day ahead market. And we are using the optimization problem in order to fulfill the generators and network constraint at the time that we are ensuring the security, but minimizing the red dispatch in the system. Now I will show you some details, mathematical details about the formulation. As you can see over here, we have the problem formulation for the stage one. And in this case, we are using zonal day ahead market. And basically it's an optimization problem that is aiming to minimize the total cost. The total cost of generation based on very specific time period where PG represent the vector of the active power generation of each one of the gener uh, of the old generators. And finally, here we have the cost function, the total cost of generators, the generation that we will include over here. Also, the, in this optimization problem, we have include five different constraints. As you can see over there, the constraints include the maximum and minimum generation, also the power maximum, um, maximum boundary and lower boundary for the intertie and power balance. And the second part, the second stage of this uh, proposed method is the objective function of the secure that is minimizing, minimizing the thermal unit operating uh, red dispatch and start up cost and also reducing or minimizing the curtailment of the renewable energy resources. In this case, in this case, the objective function is subject to several constraints. To be fair, it's only four constraints, minimum up and down time, generators active and reactive power limits, boost voltages inside the limits, and maximum branch loading. And in this case, in this case, what we are including is the interest of the classical perspective of the transmission system operator regarding the downward of redispatch uh, unit. Well, now what I will do is present results, simulation results, and those simulation results will be presented based on the two stage. First, uh, simulation results regarding the merit order based on the zonal day ahead market. 
And in this case, in this case, we are using the IEEE 39 bus system that we have modified and we introduced in a previous paper. And this IEEE 39 bus system uh, has a high penetration of renewable, but including thermal generation. The IEEE 39 bus system has been divided in three different zones, and also the thermal generation units, they have some piecewise marginal price. As you can see over here, the technical generator limits and startup costs are presented on table number one. And in the figure on the right hand side of this slide, you can see the hourly profile of the yearly peak load. Then here we start to have some results. As you can see over there, as you can see on the left hand side, we have the result of dispatching the generation. And as you can see, we are considering wind power, solar power, natural gas, coal, oil, and also we have a uh, interconnection to the remaining part of the United States. And that received the name, that received the name of a change. It can be noticed, it can be noticed that at 4 a.m. is the moment that we have the minimum load. But the, as you can see over there at 4 a.m., we can dispatch, fully dispatch the wind power that will be, um, that will be covering the base load for that very specific case. The solar output, the solar output is only acting between 10 a.m. And, and 5 p.m and the maximum output is approximately 833 uh, megawatts at hour 14. And from there, we have here some of very interesting numbers related with the dispatch generation. In this case, we are presenting the interzonal flow, the interzonal flow in which the boundaries are restricted to plus minus 1,600 megawatts, plus minus 1,000 and plus minus 1,000, depending of the zone that we are uh, working. And on the left, on the right hand side, you can see the power flow in the intertile, intertile lines. And from there, you can see from 10 to 14 and from 16 to 22, the, the specific intertile between zone two and three reach the lower bound causing the market to a split of some number three. Here, finally, we have the result for the second stage, and that is the set suit. And in this case, we are using the powerful, the powerful tool coming from the Xilin Power Factory. The Xilin Power Factory have a very interesting tool for uh, unit commitment and economic dispatch, and we are taking advantages of that to solve the second stage. In this case, we are considering voltage limits and also power capacity on the branches. And here you can see, here you can see the, on the left hand side, you can see the hourly red dispatch power per fuel. And as you can see over here, the most important balancing generation technologies, the natural gas also, including the, um, the, the exchange that is coming from the external grid. And on the right hand side, we have the very important plot indicating, indicating the red dispatch costs in thousands of monetary units. And as you can see over there, of as you can see over there, there are some positive costs and negative costs, especially at our number 20, 19 and 20. And finally, here we have some, some results presenting the operating cost and including the fuel used for ensuring the security constraint, unit commitment and economic dispatch. And on the right hand side, we have the total hourly cost per fuel after we execute the proposed approach. Finally, to ensure the secure operation, we are presenting here some line loadings and some nodal voltages in order to ensure that the loading and the voltages are inside the limits and we are fulfilling the security limits. 
it's time for conclusion and in this paper we presented we introduced a two-stage uh, security constraint unit commitment dispatch and the main advantage of this approach is that we are considering a linearized AC flow equations in the optimization problem and also that allow us to include the line loading and the nodal voltages. For that reason, with this, with this approach, we are ensuring not only the economic part of the problem, but also including the technical limits of the problem. And this uh, proposed uh, methodology has been applied to the modified version of the IEEE 39 bus system that we developed in a previous paper that include a high penetration of renewable and also this paper has demonstrated the suitable generation red dispatch to fulfill the generation limits and constraints and the network constraint. Well, this is all for this presentation. Thank you very much for attending to the uh, uh, IEEE 48th Annual Conference of the Industrial and Economics, uh, Industrial Electronics Society, ICON 2022. And thank you for attending to this presentation. And now it's time for questions and answer. Thank you very much.